Right, so I hope everyone's doing okay. Another weird body grip trap. This one was slightly, well not complicated to make, but there was a couple of weird bits I had to do. So, this is out of a book. Um, I can't remember precisely what it's called off the top of my head, but I'll show you a picture of the book at the end of the video. And I've copied that out of this. So, this one works off a coiled spring again, coming here to the bottom of this part. Two holes, one hole, one hole for the spring, one hole for this piece of wire to go through. You have to have some sort of staple here, a hole here for a bolt so it pivots. Got a couple of weird bends, a bend at the end, and then if you can see that there. This bit kind of goes along and then up again. I suppose the most complicated part was this part. Now I had to cut it curved, then you have to twist the end of the metal so it's flat, if that makes sense. And this is actually quite a good one. All you've got to do is pull it down and it will just set. Oh, so the other, only other thing is, right here, you may not be able to see it, but there's a little like a little notch cut out the camera may not pick it up see it there little notch cut out and that hooks on we'll focus again that will hook on to the staple and the only other thing oh and I've put, I've put a screw at the top to hold the spring that could be anything and on the bottom you put a point for stabbing this in the ground and all you really need to do on this one is you just pull it up until it sets. Stab it into the ground. And then this bottom piece here is actually like the trigger at the same time. The trigger and also as part of the um the the grip, you know, part of the trap as well. So and it will start passing through. Stand on this bottom piece and it will come down. And it's caught inside. If, to be honest, if you made it a little, if you, you, I think you'd have to make this and then adjust it a little bit more because it could be better if it closed up further. Because the limit of its closing. This is what I do like this, so look, it just sets. But that's the limit of its closing, there is still a bit of a gap. And that may be being stopped by the staple, or it may be, because look, this is as far as the spring will go anyway. So maybe if I cut a piece out here, or cut it curved, it would close up all the more. Very simple and easy to set. That's a right weird one. I thought it was pretty good though, really. And the book's alright, but it has no explanation of how to make anything. It's just got pictures of a trap. The, the, the book I got, anyway. It's just got pictures of traps, but no, no explanation. I've had to make them, but they're pretty self-explanatory anyway. So that's that weird, weird little um. You can make this any size you want. Weird body grip trap. Right, so I'll do some more later of whatever ones I can figure out, or I've got the materials to make them because some of it I haven't got the stuff really. You know, I've got to find some stuff uh, to make it. Right, anyway, cheers for watching, and I'll see you later.